Hello everybody, Ryan here, or MNR Productions, with my review of the 1999 LEGO Star Wars Naboo Swamp set. It's set number 7121, and includes four minifigs, and when it was released back in uh, 1999, it retailed for 10 US dollars. Those $10 got you just 81 pieces. Adjusted for inflation, this set would cost about $15 today, that is ignoring a lot of other factors. Also, if you wanted to buy this set today, brand new sealed in the box, maybe on eBay or Bricklink, you're going to be looking at anywhere between $25 and $45 out the door. So it could potentially be a pretty expensive set for you to pick up sealed, but the box art is beautiful as always for these 1999 sets, just a lot of typical, typical uh, 1999 stuff on there. And then on the back side, you get the alternative build, which is kind of like this Gungan speeder with battle droids hanging off the back. So that's kind of interesting. And then you also have the like kind of broken down builds on the back side as well with the characters just kind of screwing around there. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at all four minifigures. If you're not super familiar with Lego Star Wars, you may not know that not much has changed in 20 years for the Lego Star Wars Battle Droid. This is more or less exactly the same as what we would get today, albeit in some sets today, you would get a straight arm, which was introduced in 2007 to hold the redesigned blaster. I will say though, that regardless of the introduction of the straight arm, a battle droid like this included in a set like this would have included two curved arms anyway uh, to hold on to the staff included in the set. So it, it's pretty much exactly what you would get today. It even has a little backpack on the back, which we actually don't see a ton in 2019. But back in the early days of LEGO Star Wars, they put the backpack things on the battle droid, which is kind of interesting. Looks nice. Looks good enough. You get two in the set. So that's great. But, uh, you know, it's 1999. Battle droids are new and shiny and they are still the same today. You also got a really good looking Jar Jar minifigure for the time. It didn't have any face printing or anything like the newer Jar Jars. It also has printing on the back of his ears on the newer sets, but this one had a very nice mold for his head. Like it had that custom look to it that looks pretty spot on in my opinion. The minifigure torso is a little bit of a weird print, but I think it represents the Jar Jar uh, outfit well enough. No back printing or anything there, just regular gray legs and a, a solid looking Jar Jar figure. Really good for 1999 from Lego Star Wars. And finally, we have Qui-Gon Jinn, who's got his Jedi robes. This guy comes in quite a few sets in 1999, so he wasn't exclusive or rare uh, by any stretch of the imagination. He's got a very nice looking beard. The only thing I will say is the beard color is a little bit off from his hair color, so that's a little bit distracting to me, but overall a nice look for the character. He's got a green lightsaber with the chrome silver lightsaber hilt, which just looks so great. Those were uh, phased out in the mid 2000s because they chipped a lot, so that's why you don't see them today if you're wondering why Lego got of them they just didn't hold up quality wise anyway nice figure nice hard cape very nice custom uh hair mold though really like the hair on the qui-gon Jin here and something that i did notice uh and mention in another review is that the qui-gon Jin on the box has smooth hair however the qui-gon Jin that you actually get has a little bit of a flow to the hair so that's a little bit interesting there uh, that the Qui-Gon Jinn went, underwent some changes just prior to release, apparently. So that is all the figures. This set can very easily be broken down into two pretty easily distinguishable sections. You have the swamp on the right, the Naboo Swamp, and on the left, you have a couple of staffs, which the battle droids use on Naboo. And I will say the staffs have a very unique design. This was the design really only seen in this set. They changed it a lot after this, namely in 2007 with the uh, droid battle pack. And ever since then, it's been very similar to what we saw in 2007. This was just a very unique looking staff design, in my opinion, and there's something charming about it. Not that it's maybe better than the newer ones, but it is definitely got its own charming look. It's in the old Browns. This was produced before uh, Reddish Brown came out. You can take your battle droids, you can use their curved arms to have them hold on to the handlebars of the stat, and then they can just kind of fly around and shoot with their blasters. It's pretty straightforward. You can even move these up and down a little bit only to be constrained by the battle droid there, but it's a very fun little design. It's something you can swoosh around very easily and fly around as a child or just nice to display with your droid army as an adult. Like either way, I don't think you can go wrong with the little staffs in this set. And of course they have the, the clear stands so that they actually look like they're flying or floating or speeding around. Um, and as far as the swamp goes, this is not my favorite part of the set. Obviously it's um, 
very odd looking, very blocky, even for 1999. I mean, this is this looks like a modern day Minecraft build. I think that's the best way to put it. The swamp does have a couple of these green things hanging off. I don't vines, I guess, would be the right term. Um, but you can have Jar Jar hold on to it and swing from them if you want. I mean, it's kind of an odd feature and they do pop off because they are only attached to the stud on top. There's nothing holding them down from below. So you got the water, you have an oyster here. The oyster does open up. However, you're not really gonna find anything inside the oyster, just kind of a blank spot with a little stud there. So you get a Lego oyster, which is a nice little uh, Easter egg, I guess, in this set. But overall, the swamp design is kind of bad. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to put it. You can have Qui-Gon Jinn, I guess, stand on land. Like, there's not a lot you can do with the swamp part of this set. It's actually really disappointing. Uh, maybe the best part you could say is this giant blue plate, which you could just use for scrap parts, essentially, the rest of the set. I don't know. It's a very odd little set. The two staffs are what really make this set though you can add them to your droid army i think that was uh really going to be the draw for a lot of people back in the day if they wanted to buy this set if you're looking to buy this set today i would probably tell you don't i don't know why you would want to uh buy this set i don't think it offers very much as far as playability or even like a unique design like for display it's just not very visually appealing to me i think there's a lot of better options if you're looking for something older uh from lego star wars this just isn't it but let me know what you think about this set in the comments section below it's definitely a very odd 1999 play set the best thing this set's got going for it is its minifigures i mean if you're buying this set you're probably or at least in 1999 you would have bought it for the figures and maybe the staps but this whole swamp section in my opinion is just awful so let me know what you guys think about this set in the comments section below leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy it and subscribe to the channel if you're new here I have reviews of every 1999 lego star wars set with the playlist linked in the description and on the end card right now.